Well, I've just found the camera on indoor night scene. That's strange. It seems about like when you put in a different card, it's also set to the card, I think. Anyway, that, I think that is and was the first rant of the day. And I think I'm just going to get my map out now and see roughly where we are on the map. I think we're going to have to go to the detail one here. Uh, here we go, that's the back wall, that thing. The pigs are down, basically, down there. We've walked in this track here. We've gone past that section, I think, is there. So we must be about here, I think. So we're, hopefully if we go up this hill thing here, we're going to come up to... A, I think and there's something in there with logs or something I've seen on 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 uh, Google Maps so hopefully we'll find that and then this section in here will be interesting and maybe we can come back on the on the back wall there but then again yeah I don't know if they're burning stuff in there there might be people around. anyway we'll see what we're going maybe maybe it may be a long walk back but let's keep the keep a check on the time because we've got to make a turn around at three o'clock don't we basically oh. I definitely need to get cracking into this drink, I think. But, uh, I think hopefully this is going up. This is me going up. Uh, I've lost it around there. Going up there. So uh, basically, I think with all that foliage is in there. So this island should be... We'll work it out when we get to the top of the hill. We can look down, I reckon. Anyway. Well, that could actually be the triangle section, I don't know. But, uh, there's some activity going up there, so we may have to uh, make a uh, pass retreat. And I didn't bring my bloody um, Scott Creek Conservation booklet with me as my insurance to say, well, you know, we were in the National Park, you know, we're not doing anything wrong. Well, I can say, well, take me back to the car, I can show it to you. Well, there's a white Ipacris there. Uh, well, there's somewhere, someone close by, but the sound is probably illusory. We'll see how we go. But uh, if we see anything interesting up here, we might have to just go back from here, fellas, I don't know. Depends on what we see. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, that's quite a big one, too. That's almost probably the same size as the other one we saw last year towards the end of the season. In the... Oh, no, was that? No, that was early on this year, wasn't it? We had that funny rain day, didn't we? Anyway, hopefully now I've cleaned the lenses both front and back. Or have I been walking for the last few clips in a misty diaphanous mist camera environment because there's some moisture inside the camera or something anyway looks like we're gonna oh there we go well there's a stunning vista for you I should have gone back there and got one up there but maybe we'll get it on the way back there's a bit of workage going on in there by the sounds of it I think we'll just try and avoid them as they sometimes they get a bit some of them can get a bit tetchy. Some of them can get a bit spooked, you know. Oh shit, there's someone else there. I'm not alone. And if you hear a four wheel drive coming up a track, I might have to rush off into the bush, fellas. I just better warn you beforehand. And so it's better to be seen and not heard or something. Or that's why the other way around, I think. Heard but not seen. But yeah, oh, I'll go. This is probably that. This bit is probably. Actually, let's see. Uh, it could be that bit there. So we've got a long way to go. I don't know. I don't really want to be walking back up at 45 degrees, especially when we've got to make time, you know. Unless we found something really special. I mean, if I found a pinguicula out there, I wouldn't care if the gates are closed. You can lock the bloody car in, and I'd be in here all night photographing, and I'd walk my blood, walk the whole bloody way home. <laughs> yeah, finding pinguicula in Australia, front page news, fellas. Well, 
front page news in, in, well, in any bloody CB journal for a start. I mean, it would get us our bloody Guinness Book of Records status straight away, instantaneously. We'd be in every bloody Guinness Book of Records every year then, because we'd have that one extra genus, you know, that we need to do that. We're just missing out by one bloody ge ge genus, you know. Just haven't quite got the right number of genera to, to do it. But apart from that, we top all the league tables. Australia really is the land of the CP. And from what Gideon was telling me the other night, God, he's only got about three or four over his place. And they're really hard to find, they're rare and hard to find, you know. Whereas here, you can go anywhere in Australia and you'll find something, you know. It may not be a spectacular species, but you'll find something and you usually find them in your local neighbourhood somewhere and they're quite easy to find once you know, you know, the basics, you know, where to look, when, when to look and where to look. Because they basically only grow during the wet, of course, and depending on whether you're south, you know, south of the border or north of the border sort of thing. That, that sort of diagonal line that runs at you know, 45 degrees down the, across from Queensland over to Perth sort of thing, and puts an extra two hours of flight time on the on the plane, which is why your, your plane ticket is more expensive one way than the other, because you've got an extra two hours of flying time because of the crosswinds. Uh, most people seem to forget, they think, what, what, why is it so expensive going this way than the other? Well, that's the reason, fellas, it takes an extra two hours because of the crosswinds are blowing against the plane. But, oh, yeah, see some birds there, birds of prey are flying over there. Oh, there are two of them, they're flying in tandem, hunting in tandem. But uh, I don't know whether I should go up there or not, fellas. Um, maybe I should just uh, go back to the car and then go down and try and look for these pigs. Maybe that's how I should do it. That we. What do you reckon, fellas? I don't think I'm going to make much more progress today until the rains have come. So, um, start a new clip here, walking back, get a few more vistas, get back to the car, go back to that other site and try and look for some Mount Bold pigs in a different location. Would that be a better way of spending our time? I think so. Because as I said, we're not going to see any plants out here until the basic the rains come. But we might be able to get some, see uh, some pigs setting some jemmy if we're lucky. Okay, over and out.